think of the show in here today and your ultimate decision on it was a good show. I didn't mean to make it dramatic. I just wanted to take my time and really lock in and see what I want to do in my life. How I'm going to start my life. And, I mean, I chose on years at this school. It was a beautiful program, a beautiful school. Just a great foundation for me to be a better man, to be a better player, and get to the next level. I'm sure there's a lot of people around this school and around this area that would have loved to have you go up the road and play in I know that was one of your choices, but ultimately, what, what was it about Oklahoma? Oklahoma just had a stick. A stick that's going to speed up forever. I didn't had it too. It was just a hard decision. It came down to the line. I think I chose the best decision for me. Take me through the process of when you're highly recruited, you got a lot of fans, a lot of family, a lot of friends trying to tell you where you should go. How do you know where to go is best for you? Really, I just gave God the will and I let God choose where I want to go. He showed me tonight and he showed me nights before that's where I need to be, so that's where I'm going to be at next year. When did you actually make the decision? Yeah, I probably, probably two days ago. Oh, really? Two days ago, so it was pretty close. He's running it pretty close. And I just showed me this one at the end, this one at the end. So I'm going to do, his, gonna do his work. Once you made that decision two days ago, how hard was it for you to keep your mouth shut and not let anyone know? That wasn't very hard because I always told him I didn't know where I was going. Even though I knew I was going. <laughs> so it was just... It was just one of the things I wanted to wait, wanted to wait to the perfect time to tell you about it. Every kind of kid dreams of having a day like today when all eyes are on him, picking out a hat. Well, did this live up to what you dreamt? Yes, sir. Every moment, every hour. So I put a smile on my face and I'm happy. Have they told you uh, if you have an opportunity to play right away or will you be redshirted? Or? Um, yeah. Next year, um, I have an opportunity to play early if I, um, if I produce and um, do everything I need to do. So, yeah, most likely I'll be playing next year. Marcus, we talked about just May Creek and the pipeline coming here and just what you meant for this program and being one of the few top recruits from this school and this program. What does this mean to you now that it's actually happened and you're going out on the OU as a May Creek Ram? It's just a long pipeline. I just want to set the platform for all my brothers, all my coaches, and all my teammates here. And this is just something they can look at and they can do with themselves too because it's, it's, it can be done. And I, show, I think I showed that tonight. Even though no matter what school you go to, it can be done. What was the hardest part of the recruiting process for you? Probably the phone calls late at night, you know, text messages all day. You just never know when it was going to stop. What really put OU over the top? Was there something they did or said that you, that it was like, okay, this is the school and this is where I'm going to go? Mm, not, not really something they did or said. It's just like they always been there. I seen that low AT. And when I seen that low AT, I got to be low AT. What do you like about their defense and their coaches? How do they fit what you want to do as far as being a defensive end? Coach Thibodeau is a great coach. I stand him in. Great coach. Christian is so. And he, he, co he coaches great football, and he a passer, so I love passers, and I will, I will have a lot of sex this year. How does it feel like to get this out of the way, and now that, is it, what's it feel like to get this decision behind you and kind of move on with your senior year? I guess I'm a normal student at Oklahoma now, so <laughs> <laughs> it's fine.